Yo, check this out, bro. These are all the places I lived in, bro. And I'm willing to bet nobody lived in as many places as me. I'm willing to bet this is a world record. And the ones in yellow is the ones that pay the rent in. And I, yo, this is not including all the jails I was in and all the cells. Because if you count all the jails and cells, then you're going to count another 10 jails and then like 100 cells. So we're not counting that. Because if we count that, then we have another 100 to this number. And there's like about, I don't know how many. Let, let's go through it. So, born in Alba Iulia, right? Alba Iulia Hospital in Romania in 84. You know, end of September, right? And I was in parents' building in Blaise, Romania, 84, 85. That's when I was one years old. So they gave me away to my grandma's house. And I was at my grandma's house in Blaise, Romania, 85 until 88. And then because my parents gave me there. And I also have the reason why. So you saw, you know what I mean? Watch this. Then I, then I was blush building and grandma's back and forth, 89, you know? Then uh, then I was at the fucking same building with my grandma and siblings after my parents left, you know, to 99 because my parents left, sold her house. Yo, know, I, I heard she was scared to live with a bunch of kids in the house there, with old woman in the house. So that's why she sold that place and went to the slums because in the slums, there's thousands of people living there. So, you know, so she doesn't feel like a target. Then I was in, but I saw in 91 for the winter holidays. That was like the best Christmas I ever had. God bless my, that was my, that was my grandmother's sister. That was a good time that time. God bless her. She died too. God bless her. And then uh, I was at my aunt's house in Timisoara in 91 before I left. And then we came to Toronto, Canada. The blue ones is across the ocean. So we went from Romania, communist, communist times in Romania. You know what I mean? No food in the stores. On it. Then boom. Came to Toronto, Canada. 125 Neptune Drive. 91, 92. September, June. And then we left my dad. That's why we left from there. My mother ran away from my dad with, with us. You know what I mean? Then we're in Teal. House on Connaught. You know? With my mom and siblings. 92 to 94. My mother didn't want to buy the house for 200 grand. She didn't want to listen to me. It's $3 million now. She wanted to move in a piece of shit condo, piece of shit apartment that wasn't no fucking car. They call it a condo, like a piece of shit building. It was a piece of shit shit box and I had to sleep on the couch instead of having my own room. I think she just didn't want to see me happy, have my own room. And this is when I was a straight A student in five languages and all the sport team, only kid in the school doing that. You know what I mean? Alter boy, the whole night, doing the fucking chores, cutting the grass, shoving the snow. I was a saint, though. That's when I was a saint, you know what I'm saying? Cause right here, this is when I was doing what the fuck I wanted and back home, you know? But back here, I was a saint again when I came to Canada. Anyways, so boom, then it's, you know, apartment on the street there by Center Point Mall, 95, 99. You know what I mean? Then we went to Switzerland for one month. You know what I mean? My mother, I had a fucking, my mom had a friend there. Her, um, God bless her, she died too. And then uh, after that, came back. And uh, I was in Casada Rexdale detention custody in 99. Um, yeah, some fucking, some bullshit. That's on my record, some bullshit with some checks, some fuckery. It's fucking idiots, I told them not to fuck with it and I got, I got, they got me for it. They had my ID so they knew it was, I couldn't run away any so just a fuck. You know what I mean? That was when I was like 12, 13 or something, 99. Anyway, then I was in group home Western Road for one week. You know what I mean? That's when the fucking foster dad rushed me. You know what I mean? Fucking try to kill me in my sleep and shit. You know what I mean? Then they had to make up a story. Then they took me to 311 Jarvis, Young Offender Detention Center. And that was 2000. Then from there, I went to St. John's Maximum Security. I was there 12 months for the foster dad's lies. Then I went for six months to Cedarbrook Open Custody. You know what I mean? Got out, I guess, in one in May. That was from Mariola. Oh. Then I was at a friend's parents' house. Then I was at a friend's mom's apartment and his siblings. You know, my ex-brother there. That was where that was. Then I went to my mom's house for a bit. Yeah, buddy there betrayed me. With fuck, that's in my novel, fucking clown. Fuck that nigga. And then friends, moms, and the Tobico. I was 
was hustling, looking for my own place. Got a car and shit, then shit fucked up with my money. Motherfuckers tried to run my money, then I was on the run for a couple of weeks. Till some pussy set me up. I was in many places, so I'm not even counting all the places I was there because I was in many places on the run those two weeks. I don't think I slept in the same place twice. And then that's like 14 places right there. You know what I mean? And then fucking then I was in Tayak and the Hamilton Jail, West Detention, Adult Max Detention. And that's three different spots with many, so we're, we're not counting the jails and the cells and all. Then I got out, I was at my mom's house for a sec, during this couple of months, till I got on my feet. You know what I mean? Then I went to my fucking buddy's mom's house, cause we're gonna get our own place together. Me and my boy back in the day. And then we got the spot. It was uh, it was actually a fucking motel though, in Queens Motel. So that's my first place I paid the rent in. And since then, actually I gave his mom some weed too before, not some weed, some money too. I was selling some weed, I gave her some weed be money too before. When I was staying at their place, but yeah, this is when I get my own places. So two or three, fucking uh, Queens Pontel. That was in Parkdale on Queen Street. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. So nobody wanted to rent to us, so I uh, we just sit there because it was hard to find a place to. No one wants to rent to young people. You know what I mean? Then we're at his pop's house in Parkdale for a little bit in August while I was working. Then I was at my girl's house couple of months till the girl pissed me off then I was at my mom's house a couple of months in 0304 then I got my own first apartment by myself not with nobody that was at Oakwood and Eglinton and on Lanark Avenue it's a shit basement got depressed so I gotta get the fuck out of there because I was like one well, of my first and last bit I don't fucking do basements bro you know what I'm saying then I was homeless different people's houses because yeah shit was fucked up bro Minimum wage barely covered the fucking rent. I was working all day. I couldn't even fucking buy a beer at the end of the week after I broke my fucking back. So this is when, you know what I mean? Motherfuckers my age were going to high school and shit. I was breaking my fucking back. Duff, then, I, then I moved from there. I got a room, Dufferin and St. Clair. You know what I mean? And then after that, I moved from there because I got a roommate, me and this next dude. And we went to fucking Jane and Finch hoping someone kills me because I was depressed and shit. So then... Boom, I went to 2775, that was my homie's apartment, Nino's apartment, God bless the homie. That's the homie that got killed in July, this July. I was making the videos about it, and I was a bit depressed, you know. I, that means I was there for two weeks till I was getting my, till I get my apartment across the park from 2775. There's a park there, so it's just like grass, and you cross the grass, then you're at 2801 Jane Street, you know what I mean? So I was there till that opened up, and then boom, I moved there. And then this motherfucker was fucking around with the rent money, so I'm, I got out of there after like a year, cause, so, I mean, I'm not gonna cover the whole rent and pay a grand to live in the hood, you know what I'm saying? And this was a 90, this was 05, 06 too, bro, like, and anyways, so I went, I moved with this guy's brother, same old guy, supposed to be my brother, basement in Etobicoke, this guy's having problem with his rent, so I bought my health tomorrow with that. That, but yo, it's bullshit, though. Like, I don't fuck with basements. It's bullshit. So I went back to my homie's house, Nino's house in Jane and Finch, 2775. I mean, you know, it was too far to go to work and all. And from there, me, Nino, and his girl got a spot at LBC Lawrence Black Creek and and uh, Lawrence and Black Creek. Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? And yo, I was working that whole time. That's the time the homie got arrested with his with the other guy that got killed. So also named Tiny and with the birds and all that shit and that was in that happened so I was gonna chill there but the homie just said to I was gonna get my own place but I'm like yo you feel I'm gonna stay I'll chill here help your girl but he's like no nah, it's all good so boy I got my own place and I haven't heard from the homie since bro and I got my own spot at Dufferin and uh pardon me before that I went to fucking before that I went to the Dominican Republic for a week before I got my spot and then I was at my mom's house, I guess, for a fucking month or two there, looking for a spot. When I come back from vacation, I'm looking for a place to live. Boom, I found a spot. Dufferin Lawrence, bank, 3000 Dufferin Street. 06 and 07. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, bro. She, she was like 11 or 12. I think I was paying like 1200 I was paying 1200 in 06, 07 for the rent, bro. You know what I'm saying? 
And then I wasn't making much those times. So then I fucking downsized to save money. Then I went to Mexico. You know what I mean? By myself. Motherfuckers try to kidnap me. Didn't work out. Fucking clowns. Fuck them. I mean, everyone else was showing up though. But y'all, I get haters everywhere too. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers just get mad. Especially when I fuck all their bitches. You know what I'm saying? And then I was at my mom's house looking for, in, I guess for a couple of weeks there, looking for a place. When I came back from Mexico, I got another place. Boom, I found a spot at Kiel and Finch. So September, December, got a good job, was too far from work. So then, boom, I moved from, there's too far to get to work. So I moved, got a condo in Etobicoke that was close to that workplace. And that, I was there for two years. That was one of my records with this one in Jane and Finch. I, I never stayed in a place more than two years, except for like last spot, but it was crazy. But check this out. So condo at Toby Cove. And I stayed there until I went to start a new life in Romania. You know what I mean? But only had like 10 grand saved. So you're not going to get that far with 10 grand. You know what I mean? But I try to make it happen. And so anyways. Boom. I, so part of Yeah. So before I went to Romania though. I was at my mom's house two weeks. Before the plane left. You know what I'm saying? So. There you go. Then I went to Romania. Boom, across the ocean. Team me out of Romania. Uh, my sister and her fucking... And her husband had a house. I was there for like a day or two till I found my own spot. Like within a, like in a day or two. Yeah, two days. Two days, yeah. Boom, on Lisa Bona. And that's, that's the one by the Gara del Norte. Team me out by the North train station. Team me out you cross over that br bridge. That's Lisa Bona. That was my old hood right there. So... And then I was there for like a month until I went all over the country by myself. You know what I mean? But I still kept the spot though. You know what I mean? Until I come back. Anyway, so I went all over Romania after that. And then I was in like Blas Basso, Ployesh, Black Sea. Visited family and country was awesome. Yeah, so I couldn't see, do nothing. With the 10 grand ready, so I partied and I helped people out. I gave fair money in the streets to people. I, I gave away more money to people in the streets than I spent on myself. I spent six grand, but really on myself, I spent two or three. I gave out like three or four grand in the streets, but I'm not even gonna lie. And that was in Romanian money. And my money would have been like three grand times three would have been at least like nine, ten grand in their money I gave out. You know what I mean? But in our money, it's like three grand. In Canadian money, it would have been like three, four grand I gave out in the streets, man. People starving everywhere. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go back, make more money in me. So that, that's how that went. I, I didn't go there to help nobody. Just it kind of happened by chance. You go in there, I'm balling out. Fucking kids in the garbage looking for food. I'm there. Like 10 stacks in my pocket. I'm not gonna you know, here go buy some food, bro. Like, I'm not an asshole like that. You know what I'm saying? And like, I never look in the garbage for food, bro. But I know how it is. I, I did steal for food and shit. Like, I'm not gonna sit there with 10 grand pigging out if motherfuckers starving. Like, yo, here go buy some food, bro. And it just added up. You know what I mean? But anyways, so that's how that, like, that's how that went. It was by chance. It wasn't like, you know? And I wasn't rich either, bro. And I worked hard for that money too, bro. That money didn't fall from heaven. But anyways, then I came back to fucking Toronto, across the ocean. Boom, I was in Toronto. I was at my buddy's house for a week. Then I went to my girl's, to my girl's uh, female friend's house for a couple of months. Then, then I went to bro's apartment because my girl pissed the girl. It was not my girl, but she, the girl was there. She was pissing me off all the time. So I was going back and forth then. Then she begged me to go back, please, all this, this and that. Then I'll go there until she pissed me off. So I was doing that back and forth. You know what I mean? Then I helped her get a condo. And same fucking thing, back and forth, because this bitch was crazy. She was cool, but then she'll get crazy if I don't fuck her and this and that and make problems. You know what I mean? Some crazy shit. Then I got another spot. I lands down in Blur. You know what I mean? And then I got another spot. Oh, yeah, that place was garbage, though. It was horrible. Then I got another spot down in Port and Christie. You know I mean, the Lansdowne house was shit. Yeah, this this guy moved from there. These motherfuckers were junkies. Fucking, see, I got high on drugs, started talking shit. This and that. You know what I mean? Start making threats. I, I don't want to kill him or bang his head in, but this guy's talking crazy shit. I don't want to bang his head. So I just, I got out of there before it got ugly. You know what I mean? And they always blame me. I was, I'm always the bad guy after. You know what I mean? And then, and then fucking police fucking came to my door, tried to play some fucking games too. 
after that bunch of fucking goofs, bro. This was 2011 or something at my bro's apartment. Fucking goofs, bro. Then um, I was there. My my brother went to Romania. He he moved there, so I fucking got my own spot. I didn't like that place. I got another spot. Oh look, it was a basement too. I got I had a couple of basements, but I didn't stay long. I don't like basements, bro. And probably the only shit I found. Yeah, bro. And then uh, yeah, my bro moved to Romania. She got a cheaper spot, and then got a house in Etobicoke. Oh yeah, this is the house in Etobicoke. Uh. Because, yeah, I had to leave the place. The owner's son died. Yeah, that was the dude Dave from that movie. Uh, fucking, was it Half-Baked or whatever? Yeah, the homie Dave. Yeah, the Half-Baked movie, yeah, that's the link to the, the movie. I'm saying that 42 seconds. The guy with the white and blue vest with the big beard. You know what I mean? That's the guy that died in the house, in the bed beside fucking Hurricane Carter, the boxer. And they both said about the thing with wanting and... One, what's up? People are always unhappy because they always want this and that and this. You know what I mean? Even if you have it, you can't have it. If you have the whole world, when you die, it's not coming with you, bro. So, you know what I mean? So, even if you have it all, in the end, it's not coming with you anyway. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, yeah. So, anyways, that was that house. And then from there, I went to fucking Romania. You know what I mean? And I was in Bosnia at some hotel. Then I, then I fucking... Then we went to Romania... I was there for a couple of weeks, and one week there. I went to Romania, and I was at my grandma's house until my fucking so-called mother called her and made up some bullshit and disturbed the peace. And then my grandma's like, no, no, he's the man. This ain't what you're talking about. That. And she's talking some shit. I could hear her voice. I can't hear what she said, though. And then my grandma gets off the phone. Oh, you're the son of the devil now, this and that. I'm like, what? Bitch, I was taking care of you for the past two months. Fuck that. So, yo, I'm out of here. I'm not, you know what I mean? So I left, and uh, that's why. And I, I haven't really seen I think I might have seen her once since, but then she... My mother sent it to her death. Just now, can't make this up. But that's where that was. So then, I um. I went to my uncle's apartment that night. I guess and then I got a spot, and it was in a room in the house. It was fucking stayed in one night cause it was fucking garbage. So I got another spot. And then yeah, I got my own apartment, in the downtown, and then. I forgot. Oh yeah, I ran out of paper. I ran out of paper. And then my other homie, Leto, God bless him, he got me another apartment right here. Or oh, I paid the f my last money on this and he paid the rent. I, to, I can't remember how it went, but something like that. Uh, anyways, God bless the homie. And then we went to Spain. We went, were in Chile in Spain, in Spain for a week. And then came back and then I moved to fucking, I moved to Cluj, another city. Uh, to my bro's apartment for a couple of weeks. I got my own spot. So I moved cities and... I got my own apartment in Cluj. This was on obs on uh fuck the Observatorio Luz, right there on top of Monastur. You know, across from the cemetery and that old church they've been repairing for like thirty years. And then uh I got and then I got a nice place in Cluj. And uh, yeah, that one was free. That was a six spot. That's the one I have on my video here, there back to RO, this and that. That was uh that one I was free, but I didn't even pay for that place. My sister's husband got that place and they weren't using it. They were just sitting there. So he's like, why don't you just chill here? Because this place was whack. It looks in the slums, you know? So I, that's how that happened. And then uh, then I went to one week in Timisoara. I was there a couple of months. Then I went to one week in Timisoara right before I went to fucking, I came back to Toronto. And that's where, that's the ministry where I wrote down the hook on my song, Word Prayer. There's a tattoo I have on my chest. I was in that fucking monastery. This man built this up. This is the fucking, this is the Mexican dude from East Los Angeles that went to Romania and built his own monastery. That's where that happened in this in this church. This man built with his own hand. This guy's from East Los Angeles. All his families in like San Quentin and Folsom and all those places. So that, that was where that happened. I wrote the hook to my son. It just came to me. Boom. Wrote it down so I don't forget it. And then I was at my fucking um, godmother's apartment. In March, right before I left for Toronto, and I came back here. To this one in 2013, I came back to Toronto. Boom, I was at my cousin's house one night, and then I went for two weeks. I was at my other cousin's, the same guy that ran off with my computer. Like you know what I mean? Like not long, long after that. Then from there, I was looking for a spot, so I found a spot. 
and I just want to get out of this guy's house because I like to have my own house. I don't like to be in people's houses. So this was, I just found some garbage basement. So I just paid a first and last just to get out of there. And then I just, I was only there two months because I don't like basements. I was just looking for a new place. So I found a new spot. You know what I mean? Like that one was just to get out of there. Like, and then from there, Highgate, boom, I found a spot on uh, Highgate, which is staying in the area. You know what I mean? It was cool. It's only nobody was cool. There's nobody there. But then these guys fucking rented the house to like 30 motherfuckers. Next thing you know, there's like 20, 30 motherfuckers in the house, bro. So I had to get the fuck up out of there. And then I went to Finch Avenue and uh, Longmore. You know what I mean? It's just a house. These guys say everything's good. I didn't even check anything. And next thing you know, you go to do a laundry. They have no fucking dryer, bro. And they're trying to tell me to fucking hang dry. I'm going to only wear dress shirts, bro. I'm not going to sit here and, and iron fucking 30 dress shirt and spend two days ironing dress shirts on me. That's how this. So I moved from there, and then found a spot. It's the first time I live in Scarborough on the east side. I don't like the east end. This house. Fuck the east end. Fuck the east side, bro. It's all a bunch of Indian, Indians and white people, and I don't, I don't fuck with the east end on me. Even the black guys there are like whitewashed in the house. I don't know, bro. I just I don't fuck with the east end on me. I don't, I don't like the east end. But I was only there for a couple of months, cause yeah, I don't like the east end, and it's just fuck the east end. And then uh, found a spot on Pemberton Avenue. Yeah, and then no smoking thing. Yeah, that's where the shit happened with the police. I had to call the police because when the fucking landlord comes in trying to make pounds in my room, talking all kinds of shit, saying he's going to throw my stuff out. And I was working out. I had to call the police. The police came and explained to this fucking fool he can't walk inside the apartment. That's where that was. Then I found another spot. And I was I was working on Don Mills and... Uh, Eglinton on Winford Drive at Brookfield RPS. So I got this place is right here on Ramo. That's like on Don Mill, so I could just go straight to it's close to work. So you know what I mean? And I was there for a while, but the there's some Chinese girl, the owner, she's dirty. You know what I mean? So that's why I ended up living I'm moving out of there. And I found another spot, you know, Bayview and Finch, you know what I mean? And they sold the house, had to move. Then I found another spot, Young and Steels, then they sold that house, had to find another spot. I found a spot at Young and Wilson. Shit was cool. And we went there with the pool. That's why I was having the pool parties and it was sick, bro. And fuck on Mason Boulevard, Young and York Mills there. But yeah, I was paying too much in the pool. We closed the room the pool after the summer, so I mean let's go somewhere else. Cause there's no more pool in the whole nine. So then I got a place at Baptist and Finch. Boom, they sold the house, so we had to everyone had to move. Then Fucking found another spot. On Kanat. This was like down the street from the house. I would all supposed to buy. Like my rent money paid for the house on Kanat. My mother didn't want to buy it for two hundred grand. The one way up the thing. It was right there, a few houses down from this, and now it's three million dollars now. And some stupid Chinese motherfucker trying to tell me I can't park my car. I'm like, pussy, you don't even speak. Else. Learn speak English before you go to people's country and tell them where they can and can't park, motherfucker. You guys are fucked. These communist motherfuckers, bro. Fuck you, communists, bro. But then um. Yeah, it was a walk. I don't like walkouts, and it was also cold in that month. I didn't like it, so I left from there. And then the only place I could find a place for parking was on fucking Goldfinch, where I, just, where I was there. And then I was there. This is my record in my life. This is the record in my life, five years or six years. I never in my life lived somewhere for five or six years. This was it, the record. And the owners moved. The, owners, the woman saw my room, which was her home. Oh, well, my, my fish tank, all that shit. Oh, well, I want my room back. Next, you know, oh, we're moving now. <laughs> She got jealous because, you know what I mean? And then from there, I went to, I was the one on York, Seven Valley Road in York, uh, Valley Rolling Road, on fucking, on York Mills, where the fucking faggot woman scammer jumped on my neck just now, and I had to fucking chin check him, and he lost his teeth out of his mouth, and he tried to ch fucking strangle me again. I had to grab him by the balls, then his faggot went and grabbed the knife. That's where this happened. And then, oh yeah, I was in jail for a week, Toronto South Detention, which is, in the same spot where all the other jail was, like Tayak, in the exact same spot, you know what I mean? It's it only a new jail now, it's called different, it looks different, it's a new one. And then from there, I found another spot. And this is where I was, where these other faggot, that's a Dufferin and Steel, where the other faggot police were at my door knocking in the middle of like two in the morning, scaring my wife, where I just put the video up, like with the police inside my bed, that's where that was. And I was looking for a new place, cause I don't know basements. The only reason I got that place, cause I was in hotels, oh yeah, and I didn't put, I was in hotels for days, cause First, my girl's house, her mom is crazy, trying to start fights with me. Then I was in the hotels, then hotels eating up my money. 
So then this was the only place I could move in early. So I moved in a week early. That's the only reason I took it. And then that shit was, I was looking for a new space and the bitch freaked out on me because I'm looking for a new place. And then now where the fuck I am now. And I'm not going to be here long here now either because this guy's renewing the lease. He told me it's only not going to be long because he's probably not going to renew. He's going to go back to his country. So I'm going to need a new place too. So, yo, that's a lot of spots, bro. And I didn't count the hundreds of cells and all, like 10 jails. I didn't count none of that. You know what I mean? We didn't count. We didn't go there. Because there would have been a lot more spots, bro. And then, like, yo, your shit's a madness. It's fucking madness. I spent $20,000 on moving trucks. Yo, just the last home move and the thing cost me 10 grand. Like, bro, this fucking madness. I mean, I was trying to, you see, like, I was trying to save money to go build my own house. That's what I was trying to do for the past 20 years. You know what I mean? And, like, yo, between jobs and this and that, yo, you... The rent will suck you dry, bro. Like, I, didn't, I wasn't partying with hookers, doing drugs. But, yo, I spent like 30 grand just on building up since... It was 20 months since last May. It's been 20 months. It's over 20 grand just in rent. Plus, the last incident cost me like 10 grand. That's like 30 grand just on rent and nothing. And fucking... Plus, all the other bills past 20 months. Because you don't just pay rent. That's You got to pay the groceries, your phone bill. You know, maybe you buy some beer. I smoke weed. I buy beer all the time. Well, in the summertime, at least smoke weed all the time everything costs money bro like you know what i mean but yeah hopefully hopefully one day i build my house in my country but i'm tired yo i made a lot of money i made a million dollars all this shit in yellow right here this is the people that got my money this this they got like at least a grand off me every single month there's 36 spots in there you know what i mean paid all their fucking mortgage could have paid that house on Canaan. That's that was two hundred grand. I told my mother to buy. She didn't. She, you know what I mean. She didn't listen. If I was the first born, she would have listened. You know, she don't want to listen when you're the li little. You know, the third born, and you, know, you guys are fucking losers, bro. And then I gave all my money away, bro. This guy's thinking it's a joke when I say I live in forty spots, dude. And countless places. It's thirty six. Count the yellow ones. It's thirty six fucking thing. And this is yellow too. This one's supposed to be this one, this one, this one, and where I am now. So there's three more. One, two, and three. So one, two, three, plus all the yellow ones. You know what I mean? And then the ones across the ocean. Man. Yo, it's a lot of fucking spots. I bet you nobody in the world lived in this many places. I guarantee you. I'll put my money on it. Especially now, I'm, I just turned 38 too. So I'm not quite 40 yet. I just turned 38 a couple of months ago. So in 38 years, that's like, a, bro, that's a lot of spots, bro. It's like 100 spots and 36 of them I paid the rent in there, 38. I don't even know. But you've seen how many there is, bro. Shit's fucking madness. I'll put money. There's nobody on this fucking planet that lived in that many places and lived and paid the rent in that many places. I guarantee. And this is not including all the fucking cells in it. Because then you add up another difference, 100 cells. And there'll be another 100 spots. We're not counting that. So, I fucking told you wouldn't believe it, but... I bet you don't know nobody that lived. I bet you all the people you know combined haven't lived in that many spots, bro. Shit is fucking madness. It's fucking madness. Just this shit will drive you crazy, bro. Just looking at places like it gets me angry or ruin my day. I don't even want to look at spots, you know what I mean? But yo, you guys have a good day, bro. Yeah, bro, you guys have a good day, man.